I am exhausted today. I woke up around 8.30, which is pretty late, and I was just tired from walking around the city all day yesterday, which is not something I'm used to, but it's something I need to be doing, is just moving more. More than just in the gym and doing my cardio 30 minutes a day, I need to get out and I need to move. So these daily uploads, <laughs> they're definitely uh, taking their toll in a sense that what I do is I try and get videos uploaded every single morning. So that's morning Eastern time. So around between 9 and 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time because I live here in New York. And what that entails is that I film all throughout the day and then usually at the end of the day, I cut off the video sometime not too late at night so I could finish editing the video at night so it's up in the morning. But then sometimes I'm up later than I want to be and being that my body wakes up early either way, I'm not getting as much sleep. So I think what I'm going to have to do is get to bed earlier and wake up early and edit in the morning, which I actually don't mind doing because then I'll be able to kind of just relax and hang out at night, spend time with Brittany, and then get up before she wakes up in the morning to get whatever I need to get done for the editing and still have the video live. It just might be a little bit later than normal, but I don't think that's really a big deal. So the daily uploads, it's a commitment, but it is something that I promised you guys up until the show, so I will stick to my word on that. Uh, what else is going on? It was so. It was just nice to walk around the city yesterday and get that activity in. I woke up to a new low weigh-in today of 164, which I kind of assumed was going to happen since my energy expenditure was much higher than normal. When you walk around New York City for an entire day, you're burning a lot of calories. So that's something that's overlooked, and that's the non-exercise activity thermogenesis. So when we think about burning calories we think about our training sessions and we think about cardio in the gym on that piece of equipment where it tells us how many minutes we've been going and how many calories we've burned but just me right now moving my hands talking with my hands walking uh, using the stairs instead of an elevator those are all ways where you're burning calories and you're not realizing it and as you diet down deeper and deeper and as you get leaner your body gets more lethargic therefore saving as much energy as possible so there are things that you aren't doing that you would normally do like you might park a little bit further away from the store and walk or you might be more fidgety when you have a little bit more energy and again you don't realize these little things but they do add up over the course of the day which leads to greater energy expenditure or burning more calories. So being that I've been like more tired, more lethargic, I, my non-exercise activity thermogenesis hasn't been as high. So that could be just going for walks, I could just little things that will help me just burn a little bit more calories. So walking around the city yesterday was definitely helpful. So I'm just gonna go and make an effort to get out a little bit more and uh, get moving. But right now, I am off to the post office I gotta send something out I gotta pick something up and then I'm not exactly sure what today has in store to be honest but I'll take you guys along for the ride for the walk for the for the show I, I have no idea what I'm saying uh oh I just wanna show you I could cause you said I wouldn't make it I just wanna show you that I could Hey yo, home from the airport. 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 <laughs> Where are you going? Don't even cut that out. <laughs> I was Pre not at the airport. <laughs> I was at the, the post office. <laughs> I cannot believe you just said the airport. The airport. <laughs> I'll tell you guys straight up. Anyone on YouTube cuts scenes. They mess up, they cut it out, and you never see it. I, I normally I would just cut that out and be like, start over. All right, what's up, guys? Just got home from the post office, but I'm, I'm keeping it raw. We're gonna have fun with this. I have a few packages here. <laughs> the first one I'm really excited about because this is a box in a bag. It's really not exciting. This is actually ink for my printer. We just opened everything up from Ghost. We got some shaker cups, snapbacks, and gray and black. Their pre-workout legend in blue rasin fruit punch and their branch chains in blue rasin fruit punch. Got my package from Alpha Lee right here. This stuff is for Brittany, so if you guys want to see what that is, make sure to check out her channel, which I'll have linked in the description box below. And then this is what they sent me out. These are the lifestyle scoop necks. If you saw my video from yesterday in New York City, I was actually wearing the white scoop neck. You can dress it up, dress it down, and they come in a bunch of different colors. White, gray, maroon, black, navy. And for those wondering, I do wear a medium and all Alpha Lee top and bottom. The performance shirts, we got black and red, black and gold. 
and then the new Zenith line. And let me tell you guys, I've been with Alpha Elite since day one, and this is hands down the best quality stuff that I've had my hands on. So I'm gonna open one of these up for you so you guys can see some of the detail. First of all, it's got this stretch to it. The, the logo right here is actually stitched into the fabric. So that's not printed on, that's not sewn on, that's, that is actually part of the fabric so that will never crack or come loose. You can see right here, it's got these details that actually come out of the shirt a little bit. So these are raised out of the shirt. It's got some stretch to it. So hard to get across like what these actually feel like. If you can get your hands on these, make sure to grab one. You can choose from a bunch of different colors. Try and pick one of these up if you can. I am a medium. And uh, they probably won't last too long on the side, so make sure to grab one. What? No, I'm just saying. Are you like, a bad fan of a medium? Um, no. <laughs> Alpha lead, as always. Hooking it up. Love wearing that stuff. Let's go to the gym. Let's go. All right, what's going on guys? So as I mentioned earlier, we are going through Brittany's workout today. She hits lower body usually about three times per week. So higher frequency and higher volume than I'm used to with a bunch of different exercises that I don't typically do. So I enjoyed this because it was not only active recovery for me, but it was a way to increase my energy expenditure. So burn more calories without having to do cardio. So I did cardio after this, but it was just another way to get my heart rate up and keep my body moving. And in addition to that, a lot of people, when they have muscle soreness, they hesitate to work out or they, they wonder, can they work through a sore muscle or should they just keep taking rest until it feels better? What I've noticed and what I've recommended to a lot of people that if you've given yourself enough time between each muscle group, so if you hit legs on Monday, can you hit them again on Thursday or Friday? Yes, you can, even if they are sore. And what you'll notice is as soon as you start warming up or as soon as you do the first or second exercise, that soreness will start to go away. So in my opinion, the best thing you could do for sore muscles is either stretch them or go through some dynamic work or like I'm doing here, some active recovery work. So I wasn't doing anything that was overly challenging, but it still had me moving and I was able to get blood into the muscles, which made me feel much better overall. And just a side note, it's important to understand the difference between muscle pain and muscle soreness. So if you're experiencing real pain, don't try and work through it. Active recovery, dynamic work is not going to help you. So make sure you can understand the difference of what a sore muscle feels like and what an actual injury is like. So if you're newer to the gym, if you're new to resistance training, if you've done an exercise that you haven't done in a long time, you are almost guaranteed to experience soreness. A lot of people, especially with Romanian deadlifts, they get really bad soreness in their hamstrings. I would say if you're certain that it's soreness, stretch them out. Don't just let them rest because it will take much longer for them to feel better. And that's the one exercise that I've really noticed it with. And this, we were just having some fun. So that pretty much wraps up this workout. If you want to know more about this or about Brittany's training, make sure to go check out her channel. It will be linked down below. Thank you guys for watching and enjoy the rest of the video. I'm going to make up some food real quick and probably... 8.30, probably try and get into bed by like 10 p.m. tonight. Wake up early and edit up this video. So I'm definitely going, oh shit. <laughs> I, uh, I have this, uh, it's just, it's just chicken. I'm just going to actually take some of this, I think, put it on a pita with some melted cheese and buffalo sauce, make a little buffalo chicken pita, and then something else on the side, maybe some Quest chips because I am a little behind on protein. But I just didn't feel like cooking anything tonight. I have some ground turkey in there, but this, is it's just chicken but the macros are really good because it's not processed or anything so it's one gram of fat only 20 milligrams of sodium and 25 protein so usually prepackaged chicken like this is loaded with sodium anywhere from 500 to a thousand milligrams and this is a uh, this is legit so i don't stress my sodium intake too much i try and just keep it consistent i drink plenty of water but i also like to season my own food so if something's already high sodium and you start adding sauces onto it then it just starts to get a little out of hand so being that this is so low i could throw some buffalo sauce on it and not worry about it maybe even some of this guac right here i'm not sure but let me start putting some stuff together and i'll show you what it looks like so i decided to go with one of these little pitas we got some chicken i'm gonna throw some buffalo sauce on there and then I also have this fat free we call it mozzarella we're just gonna do probably half a serving of that on here in there so we're gonna throw that in there in just a second I'm just finishing up the second part of the dinner so I have one of these 60 calorie honey wheat wraps I have some chicken in here about four ounces I'm gonna throw in some pico de gallo some chunky guac the reduced guilt one all right we got it in there I'm just gonna screw this on shake it up and toss it in the wrap. 
time to eat, so I'll show you what I cooked. I have, I didn't actually cook these protein chips, but I have the asparagus right here, a little spray butter, some garlic pepper, the wrap that you saw earlier, the buffalo chicken pita that you saw earlier, so this is what I'm eating. If you guys wanna see fancy, just look at Brit's food right here. So she actually makes these homemade, how, how do you make, the, this is egg roll wrappers or wonton wrappers? Um, yeah, you could do either one. If it's an egg roll wrapper, you just cut it in half. You do string cheese, this is like the Trader Joe's brand, light string cheese. You put baby spinach in it, which you can totally leave out, but why not just add it. And then it's just garlic, salt, and a little bit of spices on top. Pop them in the oven, and that's that. A taco salad with some chicken, some pico, some fat-free queso, shredded lettuce. That just looks awesome. And then she even puts frozen strawberries in her crystal light lemonade. It's that's so good. And then I'm going to just end up drinking it anyway. No, I can make you one. No, nah, it's alright. I'll have yours. And that's about it. Probably going to eat this and wrap up the video here. Hop in the shower and get to bed. In bed before 10 p.m. Maybe. That's the goal. But tomorrow we might be heading out to the East Coast Mecca. So Bev Francis Gym. Get a training session in there. Maybe practice some posing. And get as much footage as I can for you guys. So... With that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to click that thumbs up button. I appreciate that as always. Leave a comment down below. And also make sure to check out Brittany's video. Uh, you get to see food like this. Any female viewers, you get to see makeup tutorials. A whole bunch of different stuff. So definitely check her channel out. It will be linked down below. So thanks again, guys. And we'll talk to you all in the next one.